Hey guys, thanks for visiting SystemControlTech.com. I wanted to take a few minutes to explain a little more about how we can use the condenser water in our chill water system to serve as a source of heat for our reheat hot water system. By doing this, it is a very cost effective way of generating heat for the hot water system. It's a way of recapturing a lot of the energy produced by the chiller. Instead of using a separate boiler or some other type of system to produce hot water, what we are actually doing is using some of the energy produced by the chiller, recapturing it and repurposing it for another use. This is a very cost effective way to cut the heating energy costs of your overall system. What we have here is the chiller itself. This chiller when it runs produces the cold water for the system, for the HVAC system but it also generates a lot of heat on the condenser side. If you've ever gone outside to your air handler for your house and put your hand over top of the fan for your condenser you will see that uh, it is blowing warm air. That is part of the process, generating that heat is part of the process of cooling down water in a large chiller uh, so what we can do with that energy, instead of just dumping it over a cooling tower, which what's happened, which is exactly what happens in a lot of instances, we're actually through a heat exchanger, a plate frame heat exchanger, we're going to recapture some of that energy, use it to heat the water for our hot water system to serve our reheats and then if there is any excessive energy that heat will then be sent over to the cooling tower to maintain the set point for the condenser loop of the chiller we want to make sure that we keep the chiller supplied with adequate temperature on our condenser loop if we do not move the heat off of that machine you can effectively, you can damage your machine, you can even, uh, it's very inefficient. You can even, if you get it hot enough, you can actually vent some of your coolant from the system. So what we do here, the heated water travels through one side of the heat exchanger, our hot water from the reheat system travels through the other, and in that heat exchanger, the heat transfer will help produce the heat necessary for the reheats. Now, there are some things that you need to consider in a system such as this. One is you need to make sure that the system is adequately sized. Most of the time these chillers are, however that is just something that you will want to truly consider that the a chiller itself will produce enough heat for the reheat system. If it will not, you will need some other type of heat source as well, such as a boiler. But most of the time, these chillers, the very large ones especially, have no problem generating that extra heat. In fact, that's why we still have a cooling tower in a lot of them to keep have a place to relieve that excessive heat. Now, another thing is if you are running an, in an economizer mode during the cooler time of the year you also have to think about how you're going to generate heat then if you're going to use some type of a boiler or steam system or some other type of hot water system however a system such as this where you're recapturing that heat from the chiller is very cost efficient it is very cost effective it works very well in helping to reduce your overall energy costs I hope this is helpful to you in giving you a little more understanding how we can use the condenser side of our chiller to generate heat for the reheat system. 
For more information on this topic, visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com. Thanks for your time. I'll <laughs> eat